Hello and welcome to the Shack of M1G. I'll show you this quickly. I uh, picked it up on AliExpress, um, planning to do some um, portable operating and stuff. I thought it might go nicely with my Acom 705, um, and uh, thought I'd have a quick peek inside it before I before I fired it up and um, put it on the air with my call sign. <laughs> um, you can see down here it's uh, an XDT PA 100X. Um, interesting this silk screen says XTD rather than XDT um, but there we go um, that kind of hints at the quality of the thing the transistors themselves are, I don't know if you'll be able to see that um, they're uh, IRF 530N um, so <laughs> high power MOSFETs, absolutely not RF parts at all um, but uh, yeah uh, that's what they are and then there's uh, a fifth or seventh folder low pass filter here um, one for 20 meters one for 40 um, and uh, that's about it really an LM317 up here setting the bias voltage I guess with that pot um, which in turn sets the quiescent current through these um, or a transmit receive change of a relay uh, input matching and output transformer or input transformer output transformer these resistors here are to get the pairs balanced and to stop them oscillating like a crude snubber network with this resistor and that capacitor and the same on this transistor um, if you saw that my hands were in the way but these this resistor this one this one and that cap um I don't know what this is doing over here um I haven't, as I haven't traced the circuit out, there's a few other bits and pieces that are doing PTT switching, so I'm guessing this is all part of what switches the bias onto the gates. Um, but uh, I haven't, you know, reverse engineered it too too thoroughly. Um, I, I wanted to quickly see what was inside it before I fired it up, and I'm not massively impressed. I guess it's probably okay for um, FT8 and CW. Uh, I really wouldn't want to, um, really wouldn't want to try sideband with it. Um, I'll quickly pause the video, take it apart, and show you the reverse side as well. Not that there's much there to see. So really, as I said, nothing much to see. Um, just uh, the inductors are crossed here and here. So there's essentially um, a capacitor, inductor, capacitor to ground. Another inductor here, another capacitor to ground. And these look elliptical. There's capacitors across the inductors. Maybe it's an elliptical filter looks like and there's a couple of diodes here which are back EMF protection for the relay coils which you can see here uh, relay footprint is these ones and those something down here as well which is on the fan uh, no it's not it's on the one of the switches um, okay let's put it back together and I'll quickly fire it up and show you what it does okay back together again so, um, let me start by unplugging everything from here. I'll explain why in a second. Um, put the DC power on. So, uh, oops, let's not cross thread it. Um, uh, off screen is a lab power supply. You'll probably hear the fans of it wearing away, um, which is set to 13.8 volt at the moment. Uh, just wondering why the power LED wasn't on, and it's because obviously I've unplugged it. And uh, <laughs> it's currently drawing 2.3 milliamps, um, which I suspect is probably the quiescent current of this LM317 regulator here. Uh, or whatever the hell this thing is. I did have a quick look, couldn't see a part number on that easily. Um, but yeah. Right, the interesting bit here is that this uh, connector that comes with it here, um, The this is ground, and then this bit here is the PTT signal. Don't think that does anything. There, isn't, there aren't enough connectors here. Maybe it's voltage, I'm not sure, but certainly shorting these two together. You can hear the thing goes into transmit. What's interesting doing that is that it goes from 2.3 milliamps to 60 milliamps. So the bias current is very low 
Um, <laughs> I was certainly expecting a, a, you know, an amp or two for a 100 watt PA, maybe even a little bit more, um, given that they're not RF transistors, so maybe pushing them a little bit harder to linearize them a bit, but uh, yeah, it goes from 2.3 milliamps to uh, 60.121 milliamp, so very low. Um, <clears throat> adding the uh, LEDs back on, goes up to uh, 4.61 milliamps. Then this is the low pass filter switch, um, which uh, the reason I unplugged these was because they affect the current quite a bit. You know, it's doubled the current with the <laughs> with the LED. Um, but uh, yeah, if you switch the uh, filters in, so it's just energizing these two relays, um, you see it goes up to about 24 milliamp, just under 24 milliamps. Um, so these really relays each a 20 odd milliamp. When when this goes up by 60, when you transmit uh, 20 milliamp of that is of course that relay there. So um, you know they're all the same part. I'm approximating them to be the same uh, current. So I'm assuming this is 20 milliamp, and that means that only 40 odd milliamps are going to the actual quiescent bi biasing of the transistors. So not ideal. Um, I will come back and do a more more thorough tear down of this. Not. Or, a testing of it really to see what it does um, put some RF for it and stuff but I was just getting ready to go out portable and thought I'd give a, give a, have a play with this and uh, yeah it's um, really uh, not great so that's as far as I got and I'll uh, try and follow it up oh I should add on these two fans as well these obviously connect here they run constantly hard to do um, with, without getting my hands in the way of the video, really. Um, <laughs> and hard to do with tweezers as well, but there we go. Let's, let's get my arm in there. Oh, now the camera frame's bouncing around. Nothing but quality here. All right. Um, you see that these just power constantly to the fans, and the fans are about 50 milliamp each now, about 120 milliamp in total, or something like 55 milliamp, something like that. Okay. Um, yeah, so even with everything plugged back in, the current adjustment, bias current you know, step does not change at all. Still drops from 116.11 to 176.53. So, uh, yeah. Um, I'll leave it there, and if I do a further up video, I'll. Uh, link in the comments uh, to the new one. Cheers and 7-3.